Hey everybody, we're out here doing a little fishing today. Uh, it is bitterly cold out. I think right now we're sitting at three or four below zero. That's as warm as it's gotten. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. It's actually exactly two. Um, the fish haven't exactly been biting up to this point. Um, it was so cold this morning when I left, I said to myself, you know, I bet my holes are gonna freeze over pretty quickly today, which led me to think of something like, I've never invested in the uh, commercially made hole covers, but I've got a couple homemade doohickeys that I found and made out of stuff that I've got in the garage. Uh, I actually just grabbed a bunch of stuff out of my garage and kitchen and threw it in the sled, and I wanna see what's gonna keep my hole from freezing the fastest, or let me, I wanna see what's gonna keep my hole from freezing up, period. So I'm just gonna drill a bunch of holes right here and uh, put a bunch of stuff in them and see, uh, see what keeps the ice from forming the fastest. So first things first, I'm gonna clear off this patch here and drill some holes. All right, I'm gonna lay down a few holes. Um, I can already tell that one of the problems I'm going to have here is that I've got uh, quite a bit of snow out here, so a little bit of weight on the ice. So what I've run, I'm running into is I can tell that there's quite a bit of water on top of the ice. That might create some issues for me as far as insulation, but we're still going to give her a go here and see what happens. I might actually bring some of this snow back back towards the holes to get my insulators down. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right, let's kick this party off, huh? Um, as I set things in, I'm probably gonna put a little snow around the hole and then clear them back out just so that, that whatever I've got as far as trying to keep that hole open doesn't actually freeze down to the ice and actually does its best job does its best job of insulating so all right first thing I've got I made these it's just some um, insulation I'm not exactly sure what they use it for I used it for some uh, flooring thing I was doing and uh, it's just it, I don't know what it's called but it's it almost looks like bubble wrap that's got foil face on it um, this is actually what I use regularly for my whole covers but we're gonna put one of these down first and see how it works Like I said, I'm just putting a little snow down so this doesn't freeze to the ice. What I'm gonna do, and then clean this hole out like this. Put that over the top of our hole here. Flatten her down a little. I am gonna put a little snow around it just to hold it down. See how it does? There we go, that's number one. For our next one here, I just brought a regular old chunk of cardboard off of some sort of Amazon package the wife got. So let's see, regular old cardboard. All right, put our cardboard down here. I'm just gonna put a little snow around it here. Blowing away on us, not that it's terribly windy, but all right. Cardboard. All right. Next, I just got a piece of pine board here off a, I don't know, wood project I was working on about, I think that's a just a half inch common board, probably about a 10 by 10 or 11 by 11. It's gonna be our next one. All right, that one I'm not gonna put any snow on. I'm just gonna I may put a little around the edges here, keep the air from getting in, but just gonna leave that one just like that. Next one, piece of styrofoam. Actually an old uh, 
old cover off a minnow bucket. So there we go. It's gonna be our next hole insulator. See how that works. All right, styrofoam's in. Next, I actually brought an eye fish. It is way too cold out, in my opinion, for this to be effective today. Our holes are freezing up so fast that there's no way I think that this would be an effective way to fish. So uh, I'm just actually gonna set this over the top one of the holes, put a little bit of snow around it, and uh, see how this fares. Uh, this is the iFish 2.0. You can see it there. So that is the insulated base on this one. Next thing I grabbed, tin foil. I'm just gonna throw a piece of tin foil down over the top of a hole and see what that does to keep it from freezing. I don't know if it'll work or not. I don't really expect it to, but I wanted to give it a shot. I'm just gonna put a little bit of snow nice on the corners here. Keep that from freezing down. Or from, I'm sorry, from blowing away tin foil. I'm sure you're well aware it's pretty light. So there we go, a little tin foil. All right, last thing I grabbed is wax paper. I'm not expecting this to insulate, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover a hole with it, and then I'm gonna put a fair amount of snow on top of the wax paper to see what the snow itself will do to insulate that hole or try to keep that from freezing. And then basically the wax paper is just to try to keep that uh, snow from falling down into the hole and slushing up. All right, I built that one up a little more just because I want the wax paper not to be in the water. But here we go. Clean this out. Put that wax paper, get that as level as I can. I'm gonna kind of pack it down like that just so it stays, doesn't float away. <laughs> All right, now I'm just gonna kind of put some snow over the top of this to see, <clears throat> excuse me, to see what the snow itself will do to insulate. And then lastly, I've got an open hole. Before we get into the results here, I'll show you what I use. Um, I just use a little bit of this. It's like uh, insulation. It looks like bubble wrap and then it's got the insulation on either side and just get these in big rolls at any big box store. Um, I had some extra stuff laying around. I cut a hole in the middle and then put a slit down there so I can fit it around the sides. Um, set this uh, over your hole with the tip up sticking out the middle and just put some snow over the top and these work absolute dynamite and they cost next to nothing while well, they were free to me because I had some extra stuff laying around. So there's all kinds of options rather than buying some type of mass produced commercial tip up cover. So uh, here's a look at how well these work and then we'll get into our results. So if you look, you can see I've got a cover under this tip up Right now it's 12 below zero and it's frozen down. But what I did is you can see the foil here sticking around the corner and the cover here covered it in snow. Pick it up, virtually ice free underneath it. So, little homemade ice cover that is absolutely dynamite in wicked cold temperatures. Like I said, it's about 12 below right now. This has been out here for five or six hours at least and um, put that little bit of snow on the top there and it is ice free. So we're back out. It has, obviously it's getting a little darker. It is a balmy eight below. So um, that's just a generic Google app. I'm gonna stole this phone and we're gonna get after it here. Um, we'll start with, we'll go over here, let's just start here. Start with our, our control here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put my gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold out, it's 
Safe below. I'm putting my gloves on. They're a little wet, a little cold, but I'm gonna start right here. All right, here's our first one. Our tin foil insulation. The ice around the top, frozen a little, but for the most part, that hole is fairly ice free. So foil insulation in an hour, or I'm sorry, in two hours, fared pretty well. So that would be, and like I said, this is this one's actually cut. That's a whole cover I use on a regular basis. So uh, foil insulation did pretty good. All right, I'm trying to think what we did next. Cardboard. Let's just jump into the cardboard again. Everything on this side of the cardboard, she froze up. Bottom side of the cardboard, actually, a little bit of ice on there. A little bit of ice, but. Not too bad. So, cardboard, I mean, I don't think that would last for too many days in a row as a whole cover, but in a pinch, cardboard, not too terrible. Um, all right, our pine board. If we notch this out, we could get it. Um, okay, so that would be an issue. Uh, one of the issues we would have if we use the pine board is Getting it out, there we go. That did the trick. But underneath the pine board, um, fairly ice free. A little bit, little thin skim ice. So not too bad. But probably not a great option for being able to get that unfroze, so. All right, let's move over to our Middle bucket cover, again. Pull that out. Um, other than the ice that fell in there, the ice that fell in, that hole is relatively ice free. So that was actually my pick for the favorite coming into this, but you know what, that helped. Actually did the best job in my opinion so far. If I would have just tap a hole in there, put a little something in there so I could slide that around a tip up, I think that would be absolutely dynamite. Now, the ever controversial iFish Pro. Um, some guys love these things. I've actually been a bit of a critic of them. I'm gonna, you know, right now we've got a little bit of ice on this one. This is the insulated version. Um, you know what, I'll go like this and pull it out this way. Um, and you'll see I push this down, but you know, there's a little bit of ice formed, you know, actually that fared better than I expected. You know, if you had the right line in there, that might be able to pull through that. You know, it's pretty thin ice, but you know, now well, that's actually, maybe that's, that's pretty thick actually. So I don't know, iFish Pro, not great at strictly isolating or insulating a hole, but okay. Not as well as, didn't do as well as the, the iFish Pro didn't do nearly as well as the other ones, so. All right, our tin foil. <laughs> Did basically nothing. <laughs> it just, yeah, it just froze down. So, tin foil, I don't know. I saw it in the drawer, thought I'd grab it. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to clean this up later, but <laughs> not what not what I would use for a whole insulator. So tin foil, that's a fail. Um, got our pile of insulators. All right, so this one is the one that interests me the most. Uh, it's there's a piece of wax paper down there, but uh, what I really did was just throw a bunch of snow over the top of the wax paper to see what it did. So. I'm kind of going to try to uncover this the best I can. Um, all right, so I, I got a corner of the wax paper here. Peel that up, you know, and you look under the wax paper, so the wax paper pulled out nice and easy, and underneath it, they're really, it's kind of a clear hole. So, I mean, the snow itself kind of did a nice job of insulating that. Um, one thing I'd like to point out is, 
when I use my other foil insulators, what I do is I put that down and put the snow over. It's a little more rigid and it seems to do a really nice job of insulating those holes. So our last hole is our control hole, the one that was left unexposed or uh, uncovered for two hours. And we've got about, I don't know, a quarter inch of ice. So in two hours at anywhere from zero to eight below, we accumulated about a quarter inch of ice. Um, so that was what would have happened without our insulators. Uh, in my opinion, just kind of messing around out here today, the best hole insulator was that Styrofoam. Um, like I said, I didn't have any actual commercial insulators. You know, Frabel makes a a black one and Beaver Dam makes a black hole insulator and I, I think all those work well. Um, what I would take away from this is whatever you're using, if you put something over the top of the hole and then put snow over the top of it, the best insulator you have is all around on the ice and that's the snow. So if you can get something over the top of your hole, put a little snow over it, I think you're dynamite. That's why some of the homemade concoctions that I've got as far as those foil faced insulating covers um, that you'll see in some of my videos, uh, you can't beat them. So I use those, put a little snow over them and they work great. Gonna keep your tip ups kind of fairly ice free and ready to go. And now this hand is freezing cold. I don't know why I did that. But hey, I uh, hope you found this helpful or at least interesting. Uh, thanks for watching, keep tuning in. We actually have a flag up in the background. We're making another video today. Um, so we're gonna go try to catch a fish and we're gonna make another video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.